Well, first time I rode him was Saratoga. Uh, very impressive, you know, for a horse to come in, you know, first time out, especially for Shug, and come out and run the way he did it the first time out. It was impressive, right, right from the start, yes. First two time or two, I breezed him. He breezed fine, but his gallop out was unbelievably good. And then uh, we ran him short up there, and he was in front the whole way and won. I thought, well, the way he's bred, um, to be able to show that kind of speed, he's probably a pretty decent horse. You could do anything you want with him. I mean, you could put it close to the pace. You can let him, if they go too fast, you can come way, way off, the, off the pace, inside, outside, anywhere you can put him. Uh, that's what stands out about him. That you could do whatever you wanted with him. He ran a really good race in the Champagne. I mean, he stumbled terribly, got way out of it, and came came running and finished second to a horse of Chad's that was on an easy lead. And, uh, you know, then we came to Louisville, and I thought we were going to have a really big chance in the Breeders' Cup, and he got sick. He was coughing when we got him there. And, um, then the morning of the race, he had a temperature. His ability coming from behind him was what made, it, uh, made him a, a very good horse, you know, and uh, it, he was very versatile, you know, that you could put it whatever you want. Like I said, uh, if, he, if the pace was really fast, you didn't have to be that close, but he's going to come running, but, you know. So I didn't worry about that. If the pace was slow, and he, he, I know he was going to pull in me too close to, to, uh, to the horses, to, 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 the, to the leaders. Uh, so that made it easier, so I, I knew, okay, the pace is slow, he's pulling, he's, he, they're, they're, they're going much slower than, than we're supposed to be going. So he already knew or would let me know where, where I was supposed to be. I remember driving to the clocker stand the Friday before the Travers and telling a friend of mine was riding with me and I said, this horse is doing as good as a horse could do. I said, I don't know that I've ever, ta uh, that I've ever prepared a horse that's doing as well as this going into a big race. And, uh, so I, we were really expecting um, a good race out of him, um, you know, but when you're in those kind of races, you don't know, you know. And, you know, but uh, we left the bar and it was on his toes and, you know, everything was just sort of picture perfect and set up right for him. I thought maybe in around the turn that, you know, that maybe he wasn't going to fire because he wasn't doing anything. And then all of a sudden he just exploded and, uh, you know, won easy. And, Obviously, it was a big thrill for all of us. Travers, you know, it's like, it's, it was incredible, you know, the, the race he run, and uh, it was a great race, great competitive race, and he showed up in the big days. But he's very efficient in what he does. Uh, he likes to train and he likes to run, you know, and uh, I think that most of the time we've taken him over there, you know, he's running his race. You're going to get a horse that, that one going short as a two-year-old and one going mile and a quarter as a three-year-old. 